I didn't get around to making my video yesterday. I was going to do it this morning, um, but figured I'd just kind of roll them into one. Um, yesterday I met with uh, an older gentleman named George. He's the former COO, I think, of Boise Cascade. He's a pretty successful businessman in town and, and knows a lot of people. Um, I mean, really, when I sit down with with people who are kind of on the other end of the journey than I am, what I want to find out from them is what it was like in the early days. And his primary insight into that is that he wasn't following a plan. He didn't set out to go somewhere and then go there in his career. It was it was a series of events that moved him from one place to another, uh, starting, uh, starting at Harvard and um, going into teaching and then getting into that company and he just kind of successfully negotiated it as it went from falling apart to kind of getting rejuvenated. Um, so I think he'll be a good person to know. Um, I actually need to follow up with him by email today, so that's a good reminder to myself to do that. Um, I met with Jordan about Hackfort. We talked about the Civic Tech Track and the idea of the flipped conference that we're going to be doing. Um, it's kind of been shuffled to Saturday, and I think that's okay. Um, just based on some of the feedback that we've gotten. Like, if you have a conference like that, you have a problem if it's not very well attended, and you have a problem if it's too well attended. So uh, we're kind of putting it in a little smaller test incubator this year and see how that goes. And that's fine. Um... Today was Malka stuff. I looked at some code with Clay and we decided that even writing JSON or Scala is not a good idea. Well, Scala certainly, since it's a complicated language, but even JSON probably is not a good use of my time. Uh, it would take me a, a long time and a lot of questions to get up to speed on those things. It is cold out here. I gotta switch hands. Um, so. I reached out to Remus to see if there's anything I could help him with. Um, it's it's mostly proposals and tracking proposals and kind of keeping the work going. But, you know, there's not a lot of management to be done when the team is two people, two developers. Um, let's see. Uh, I think the big, the big realization that I've had that I can't remember if I've talked about in one of these videos. Well, you know, another big realization. You have them every three days on these things um, was that uh, the the thing that school never prepared me for um, is, is a world without rules school is really like a sanitized environment where everything's pretty contained uh, and uh, and the environment is controlled and the rules are clear and I'm good at following rules. Um, I'm good at kind of seeing what I need to do and then making it happen. And so I was always good at school. But being good at school does not make you good at life because school is nothing like life. Um, you're out here and all of the judgments uh, that people are making of you are subjective judgments. They're not, did you pass the test? They're, you know, did you get the job done? And whether or not you got the job done is um, a lot doing the job and a lot selling while you're doing the job and selling after you've done the job. Um, those are important skills that you don't really learn in high school. So I'm trying to work that into our school proposal and um, I still think about it from my perspective too and figure out what it means for how I need to live life. Uh, okay, four minutes is long enough for one of these things. So thanks for watching.